is it Power Apps free? And there is any way to use Power Apps Premium without any cost. My name is Ronan Vico and this video I'm going to explain it better for you. Short answer here for you, the Power Apps is never free. And yes, you can use a premium license without any cost if you are a developer. I will explain it better for you in this video. Why Power Apps is not free? What you need to understand here is that when we are at our Microsoft account, we have a lot of applications, right? We have Outlook, we have Word, we have Excel, and we have also the Power Apps and the Power Automate. So what you need to understand here is that Power Apps Canvas, Power Automate Cloud, both of them are applications inside of the Microsoft package, the Microsoft license so you automatically need it's required to have a microsoft account to log in and use all of that applications you need to have a microsoft account a microsoft license in my case here i have an e5 just so you can understand i have a license for microsoft account enables me to use all of these applications here and it is included the power apps most of the microsoft license comes with power apps so that's why when we ask is power apps free the answer is no you will be required to have a microsoft license to have the access to power apps standard don't be confused here we have just two types of power apps when i go here to connectors at the Power Apps, what you need to understand, we have two types of connectors. We have the standard connectors like uh, OneDrive, SharePoint, and also we have the premium connectors. When we have premium connectors in, a, in an app, we are required to have premium license. So what we are saying here is that to use the standard license mode, like SharePoint, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, you will be required to have a Power App standard license that comes with most of the Microsoft license. Make sure and be more precisely here. I researched on the website and I also asked here a Microsoft consultant on the Microsoft website. And here's the list, we have business, uh, premium, Standard, Business Basic, E3, E5, uh, Off C3, E5, uh, like I said, most of them, uh, if we have Microsoft 365 apps on the license, you will have the Power App, so it is not free. To have the standard mode, the standard capabilities of Power Apps Canvas and also the Automate Cloud, you will be required to have a Microsoft 365 license. So you have the Microsoft F3 and Dynamic Plans, G3 and G5 for government. So other ways of having the Microsoft 365 apps that include the Power Apps Canvas and the Power Automate Cloud. Now that we understood better the licensing about the Power Apps standard, the Power Apps basic mode. We need to understand that when we use premium features like connectors that are premium or custom connectors, or when we have at the app premium features like map, like AI builder features, we will be required each user to be more specifically each users that runs the app will be required to have the power apps premium license okay so it's another cost it's a plus in the cost that we're going to have of course if you have a premium license you have all the capabilities on the power apps but if you are a developer and you want to try and you want to check it if the features, the premium features worth it, right? Because I am a developer. I don't want to pay to try to use the Power Apps Premium and just realize that is the, not the best option for me. I don't want to pay for that, right? So if you are a developer like me, you can have a free 
license. You can have a Power Apps free license, a Power Platform free premium free license that is called the Power Apps Developer Plan. That includes Power Automate Cloud Premium features also, so you can test it too. How to get Power Apps Premium license for free? How to get Power Automate Cloud Premium license for free? You can go at Google, yeah, and just write Power Apps Developer Plan. The first link that it will that it will show you. You go to click at that and you can start for free. After that, you're going to log in with your work or SKU email and click on start free. When you do it, after that, in your Power App, you're going to see a new environment with your name. You will have an environment like this one with your name environment. In my case here, for example, that is my name, so I'm seeing my name right here. This is a developer environment. It's an environment that you can use premium features like Power Automate and Power Apps, and it don't need any cost. It's a, a place, a happy place, where you can develop and test it before you move it into production. Right, so it is not an environment where you can share with users and users use the app. No, 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 no. It's just a place where you can test it. You can share with users to test it. You can do it because it's a, an environment that you can share with some users, not a lot of users, and they can test it. And after that, you can get your solution and move into the production environment. That is the correct way of using um solution right i hope you guys enjoyed this video and understand the answer for the questions that we propose in the beginning of this video and i will make another video explaining a little bit more about the best license for microsoft 365 for each type of company in my case i have a company that is a it's a small business so we use a specifically license there to use specific applications like Power Apps and Automate. And I will talk more about it. So leave down below your comment, your feedback about this class. I'm trying to share more knowledge about Microsoft and technology in general here at YouTube. So your feedback is really important. Comment down below your feedback and also comment the word orange. If you comment orange in your feedback, I will know that you watched the video to the end. It's a way of knowing who watched the video completed. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys like it and shared it. We see you in another video, in another class. And please subscribe.